Good evening and welcome to Campbell Now. I'm Faith Clot. And I'm Sarah Oakley. Have you ever wondered what the job of a student ambassador is? Samantha got a chance to catch up with an ambassador to find out. Thanks guys. I'm outside admissions with Madison Gentry, an admissions ambassador for Campbell University. Today we're going on a tour to see what it's like to be an ambassador. So we normally start the tour out in academic circle. Um, we usually take students into the library just to kind of show them around. Um, and I usually let them know that that used to be the law school until it moved to Raleigh. Um, I point out Kivet because it's the oldest building on campus. Um, and I also point it out on the banners because I love that building. Um, behind me is D. Rich and Taylor Hall. D. Rich is where most of the general education courses are, such as Spanish, history, criminal justice, just general classes that everybody has to take. And in Taylor Hall, that is, you know, where Christianity courses are taken, but it is also the home of the Education Department and Psychology Department. We're going to head over to the Fine Arts Building in Lundy Fetterman. At this point in the tour, we stop and we introduce the Fine Arts Building and some of the courses that you are able to take that are inside of this building. And behind it is the Camel Now Studio. Also in the tour, we stop at Lundy Fetterman um, the School of Business and we usually take the student and their family inside and kind of show them classroom sizes just because a majority of students have classes in Lundy Fetterman even if they're not a business major. Um, other majors are in Lundy as well. for giving us a tour and seeing what it's like to be a student ambassador for Kimball University. If you're interested in becoming a student ambassador, you can contact admissions and start the application process. I'm Sammy Steichen, reporting now for Kimball Now TV. Thanks, Samantha. Be sure to wave when you see student ambassadors showing potential camels our campus. We just had a weekend full of fun and excitement as parents, students, and siblings were enjoying Campbell's family weekend. Jacob Sinclair has the story. Thanks guys. This past weekend, I got to catch up with some Camel families to talk about their experience during Family Weekend. So we come down from West Haven, Connecticut, which is outside of New Haven, um, here for Family Weekend. Families got to enjoy events here on campus, such as Pip the Illusionist, faculty meet and greet, a football game, and a family worship service. But the best part of the weekend was spending time together as a family. So I really like coming down mostly, like you said, spending time with my son because we don't live close. I don't get to see him over the weekends. You know, I moved him in in August, so I got to see him then, and I won't see him probably till Christmas, um, maybe Thanksgiving. So really spending time with him and getting to see him is really the big factor of coming down. Parents really enjoyed meeting faculty and learning about the environment Campbell offers. Me and my wife feel like it's a very safe environment for my son. Uh, he has easy access to his professors. Uh, professors seem to take an interest in my son, uh, individual, one-on-one -on -one basis, and that's what we enjoy. Uh, the environment that we that he has at Campbell uh, is uh, a good environment for learning. Families also love the sense of community that Campbell provides. I enjoy how um, the atmosphere is really cool. My brother seems to really like it and enjoy it here. I like the small town feel. I mean, it's a really good place because you get the opportunity uh, to, like I said, the professors be in the classroom, which I think is a really great thing. And then the fact that because it's small, you get to meet a lot of different people here. And so I think the, the smallness and kind of the hometown feel is really, really good. Huge thank you to the parents we interviewed. We are so glad that Campbell provides a safe learning environment for your student. This is Jacob Sinclair reporting for Campbell Now TV. Thanks, Jacob. It was an awesome weekend hanging out and spending some quality time here on campus with our families. It's time for our weekly weather update. Here's Brendan with the weather. Thanks Faith and Sarah. We're going to go ahead and jump in right into the five-day forecast. Starting off with Thursday and Friday being fairly consistent with each other, 10% chance of rain with a high of 85 and 87. Moving on into Saturday, it's going to be a great day for some football as Campbell takes on Valparaiso in the afternoon. 
And moving on then into Sunday, we're going to have a 40% chance of rain. That's most likely going to be later on in the day. Moving into Monday, where it will most likely be raining all day with a chance of thunderstorms later in the afternoon. Camels. Be sure to send in your photos of the weather through Twitter to be featured on air at CampbellCUTV. Here's a photo that was taken earlier this afternoon. Thanks, Brendan. Last Wednesday, Campbell cut the ribbon to its newest residence hall, Luby Wood Hall. This residence hall was designed with students in mind. More than 900 student survey responses were taken into consideration when building this hall. The hall includes single or double occupancy rooms, study rooms, kitchens, and a provisions on demand store. It's time to check in on our fighting camels. Let's see what is going on in the world of sports. Here's Khalil. Hi, I'm Khalil Dixon with Campbell Sports. This past weekend, our football team shut out Moorhead State 38-0. Let's take a look at some of their highlights. All Chris, and they play well off of each other. Jay, the statistics for this camp. And underneath. The handoff to Jones, breaks through. And that deep man, a good thing. Rolling right, Smith. First down, Smith. Inside the five, Daniel Smith. What a run. Going up. Goods is the back. The power to get Goods, goods on the, the outside. Zone. Get away coach from the Mike middle Minter of the defense. Calls him the and touchdown maker with his as the redshirt freshman has his fourth touchdown in two games. Mitchell Brown from 33. The kick is up. The kick is good. Campbell puts three more on the board. They lead 10 0. Smith throwing over the middle. Howard somehow rips it away from the DB. He's inside the 15. That's where Howard has the of the day. Braylon Cook, six foot three against five nine. In the red zone. Smith. Howard. Touchdown. His first in a Campbell uniform. Goods, touchdown. The red shirt freshman is having a day. Montel Goods finds the end zone again. On third and goal. Looking for Sutherland, intercepted. That's Carlos Merritt. His fourth interception of the season. Nine rushes for 67 yards on this drive. To the air, looking for Howard. Makes the catch. Was he in bounds? Yes! An incredible play. Howard's second touchdown of this game. Oh my goodness. Look at this throw. Smith. Perfect placement. Howard getting contact. Trying to pick it up here deep in their own territory. Page on the run. Olinga will bring him down. It's a sack for Olinga. For the Eagles is starting to set in. You want to finish this game off in the right way. Goods again ripping off another big run. He's inside the 40. What a run for the red shirt freshman for Campbell. Might feel pretty good about Campbell's chances to go 2-0. Thanks to their quarterback, Daniel Smith. He gets inside the 10 with another fantastic run. Goods behind the offensive line. Stretches and gets into the end zone for the third time today. Montel Goods and that offensive line tearing up the Eagles. Down 38 to nothing here, but they still want to have some positive momentum going into next week. Ray Miller with his second sack of the season, second sack of the game. Josh Jones hits it up the middle for a first down for Campbell. And with that run, Josh Jones now 102 yards. This is the first time in Campbell history that three players have rushed for over 100 yards in a single game. And that'll do it. Campbell with a dominating win on both sides of the ball, 589 yards of total offense, 460 rushing, and they blank Moorhead State. 38 to nothing, the final score. They'll be back at home this Saturday at 2 against Valpo. Thanks, Khalil. Alpha Delta Pi will be hosting a Run for Ronald 5K on Saturday, October 7th. This run is a qualifier, and you will get a t-shirt for participating. The best thing about this run is you will be supporting your local Ronald McDonald house. This run will also be a color run, so make sure to wear some white clothes. Register or donate today. Visit adpi.crowdchange.co slash fundraiser to sign up. 
Again, that is adpi.crowdchange.co slash fundraiser. In the mood for some delicious state fair food and rides? Well, sign-ups are going on right now with CAB and Wallace Student Center. Spots are limited, so first come, first serve. CAB departs campus at 3 p.m. on October the 18th. Don't miss your chance. Campbell University's Outstanding Gospel Choir will be holding its annual fall concert October 17th. This event will be held in Turner Auditorium with headline performances by Campbell alumni Daryl Merchinson Jr. and Mary Price. Come out to worship. This event is free for all Campbell students with an ID but a charge of $5 for outside guests. Doors open at 6.50 and the concert starts at 7. You wouldn't want to miss it. Get ready to show some school spirit, Camels. Homecoming week starts Monday, October 23rd and includes many awesome events, including a barbecue, bonfire, and a parade. Homecoming week will come to a close on Saturday, October 28th, when the Fighting Camels play in the homecoming game against Jacksonville. During homecoming week on Friday, October 27th, Cab will be showing Back to the Future for movie, movie night. The event will be held in Turner Auditorium at D-Rich. The movie will start at 9 p.m. Come and enjoy this classic film. Thank you for joining us. Please follow us on social media at Campbell CU TV. We will have new shows every Monday and Wednesday. I'm Sarah Oakley. And I'm Faith Clatt. See you later, Camels.